This video is to explain how we're going to reposition the fuel pump in order to get your seat kit on. Now this is just in the older model shadows. You won't have to do this if you have the newer model without the uh, fuel pump. This is the dual carb uh, models. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the, uh, we're going to pull these devices off, the fuel pump and then these three units right here. So stay tuned and I'll show you how we're going to do that. The first thing we're going to do is pull this fuel line out of this little keeper right here. So just go ahead and grab that prong there and then you can kind of pull that over and pop that out of there. It's this little wire, wire keeper here. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect that and then we'll show you how to pull the others out. Okay, now I've pulled all these devices. They just come up and off these prongs right here. So you can pull that one and the fuel pump. And you can see the prongs here that go in the rubber grommets. Go ahead and pull all those units out. So we're going to do this one, this one, the uh, fuel filter, and the uh, other component here. And then we'll continue on. Okay, I've got all these uh, units out, and that's what it'll look like. So you can see the uh, aluminum or the steel bracket in here. You have the wire, wire thing here, and then uh, these prongs sticking up. Then uh, I've disconnected these fuel lines. I've kind of bent that out of the way there, and this one too. So there, there we go. And then we'll we'll show you how to finish this up. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to get rid of this uh, wire thing. Just go ahead and bend that until it breaks off. And then it just takes a couple of bends, and that'll break off. And then what we want to do is we want to take pliers and bend all these brackets uh, down flat, so it's flat through here. And then these, what I've done is I've bent these over and down like this. And sometimes you can use the, the pliers to get started and then maybe get a little wrench, a little wrench and put it on there and keep bending it. But anyway, what we want to do is we want to bend these flat, and this one's straight out, and then we want to bend these over this way so they're out of the way. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to get rid of these little electrical tabs. This one was here. Now what I do on that, I just bend, keep bending it and bending it and bending it and they'll break off. So we'll do that to this one and this one. And then we're ready to go ahead and mount our uh, electronics back in here. And then when you do this, make sure you don't bend that down. You don't want it to hit the spring. Okay, here's another look at it after I've finished. And then there's, if there's a little barb down in there, just take a screwdriver and bend that down because you don't want that little barb sticking out uh, and it might cut that tubing. And then I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see what we've done here. Okay, you'll notice this one's bent flat. And this one's bent flat. They're not hitting the spring, but they're as flat as possible. And then this one is flat here, flat to this surface. And then these are just bent over here. Those two are bent over like that. Okay, you can see how I've rotated the pump up here and kind of out of the way from this bracket. We're going to do that, and then we're going to take the flasher. This is the flasher here. It's the shorter wire. We're going to just tuck this in here like this, and I think I'll wire tie that in there. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then there's the other uh, relay that has a longer wire, and I'm going to show you what I do, did with that. I actually ran the wire down through the uh, opening there next to these hoses, and then I'll show you how, how I ran it into the uh, side compartment. I ran the wires down through here, and then what I did is I exited inside the uh, side compartment area right here. You can see that. Then what I did is I just looped the wire around there to kind of keep it tucked in. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug the, uh, the relay back in there. Then I'm going to go ahead and wire tie that right there, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've wire tied this uh, uh, relay just to this wire here. It's just to keep it tucked in there. I've got this uh, flasher wire tied to the hose right here. Uh, you may not want to do that, but uh, go ahead and trial fit everything uh, in there like that. And then let's go ahead and slide our seat pan on. This is unpainted so you can see it better. But that's basically how it goes on there, just like this. this make sure this uh, uh, seat's up in there just like that. And what you want to do is you want to make all this fit so that these sides fit down flush with the, uh, with the rails here. Now, I actually had to bend these down just a little bit. These two tabs, I had to bend them down just a little bit in order to get this to fit just right on there. 
So go ahead and kind of try and fit all that. Make sure that fits down there. Make sure your pump uh, is in the right spot there. And then we'll continue on. Okay, we're just about finished showing you how this works. Uh, now, when you get all this finished up, before you put your seat on, you may want to go ahead and put your cover on in place. You don't have to do it right now. You can go ahead and do do this whenever you want. Just, But like I say, you may want to put this cover on before you put your seat on because it would be a little harder to, to get your screws, these screws in there. But I think even then you could get it on once the seat is on. So anyway, so there you have it. Uh, I just wanted to show you how to do that. And this is, like I said, it's for the older models with the uh, fuel pump. Now you can go ahead and refer to the main video to install all this stuff on your bike.